Hello everyone, uh, this is the start of new tutorial series about advanced animals. In this tutorial series we're gonna... I'm planning to add a logic for taming animals, moving them to some somewhere where they will live. I'm gonna write some logic, I'm, we're gonna create some logic uh, like in Rim world, where you're placing and animals in some separate place and they can live together but uh, they should be separated uh, by whether they are predators or not because for example if you will make a wolf live with uh, a doe then uh, I think that wolf will uh, eat a doe also we are gonna add some logic to make an animal to produce a child or children and as in every previous tutorial I'm gonna do it on a go because I uh, I have never created such system before and uh, we may have some issues some bugs some things that we will uh, recreate again and again and it's not gonna be an easy tutorial because it is an advanced logic. We're gonna have some complex blueprints, some complex components, and so on. So, uh, before starting this tutorial, uh, be sure that you have watched previous tutorial about animals because I'm gonna use everything that we've created earlier. Okay, now let's start. And uh, what we should do, we should define whether an animal can be tamed. Because, for example, in some games, you may be not able to tame some animals. For example, I'm not sure if I wanna be, if I want a low player to tame a bear or uh, to tame a doe, because I don't know why. Because bear seems like something imbalanced for be, uh, to be tame. So let's open our folder with animals. And here we have a spawner and let's check what our animal parent has. It has some variables. And what we're gonna do, we gonna we're not I'm we're not gonna change these variables on every blueprint that we've created. For every DAO, for every stag, and so on, so on. So what I want to have, I want to be able to change animal parameters on some, on one place. I want to have a data table of all of all animals and their parameters. So let's create one. So at, to create a data table, we first have to create some structure. So let's create a structure and call it s animal config, and let's open it up. And I'm gonna close all blueprints that I have opened and open animal parent so I know which variables I have. Okay. Animal config will contain everything that animals should have. It should have an animal subtype. So, first variable is gonna be animal subtype of type e animal. Subtype. Oops. Next, it's gonna have state mesh socket. State mesh so socket, and it's gonna be a name or string. It's gonna be a name. Next, we're gonna have some interruption montage. Oh, let's interruption montage. Or, and it's gonna be a montage. And in montage, and I'm not sure, maybe we should have few and in montages. So let's create, let's make it an array and not a single object. Just for future, if for example, we will have a few different montages we want to have for an interruption of a DAO, we want a random one to be picked from this. Next, we're gonna have an attack montages. Attack montages. And it is also gonna be an array. 
and current behavior. But current behavior is not a part of a configuration of each animal. It's something that's changeable every time. So it's not going to be part of config. Also, our config should contain something like tame config. And we will not, it's going to be a single object, and we will not choose a type now because we don't have a type for taming config. Now let's uh, be able to work with animal parent using this animal config. So now let's create a data table. I forgot where it is, so I'll just type data table, and here it is. Here we should select the structure as animal config and call it dt animals. Open it up and let's start. Now let's add a new row and call it deer. Okay, its subtype, no, not just deer, let's call it doe. Its subtype is doe, state mesh socket. You know it, we should open our dt DAO. I don't remember what is a socket, I will show here the variables. It's state socket. Okay, state socket, interruption montages. Interruption montage is am interrupted, it's only one, so click here, am interrupted. It's a routine work, but it will save us a lot of time in future. We don't have any attack montages for uh, our DAO. And time config is none. Next, let's create a stag. Subtype is stag. State socket is the same as in DAO, if I remember correctly. And AM stag AM interrupted. I will pick up a DAO's. I mean, oh, why I picked it on a tame config? Uh, I'm gonna add one interruption montage. AM interrupted. Like this. It's a DAO montage, but it looks like uh, a DAO and the stack has uh, unequal bones. So this any montage is working fine. Next, let's add a fox. Fox. Subtype is fox. State mesh socket. I don't remember. A state mesh socket. Let's open a fox. Open full blueprint editor and copy it from here. It's the same. Like this. Interruption montage is fox interrupted. AM fox interrupted. And we have two attack montages, or no, we have three attack montages. So am bite, am attack, no, okay, attack montages, am fox bite, am underscore fox bite, then am underscore fox bite, and then am underscore fox jump bite. That's it. Now our data table is filled. So we can uh, hide inherited variables and delete this animal subtype, state mesh socket, interruption montage, tag montages. Let's delete them. Or maybe not. Let's I don't want to change all, all the logic, so let's add it to a category legacy. Everything from here we're gonna add to category legacy, but not current behavior. And on construction script, we're gonna set up animal from some row from data table, but we need, need to know which row. So uh, we have to we need to have a variable and let's call it animal config and it is going to be a data table row handle 
compile, save, and let's select the data table at first. It's going to be ADT animals. That's it. But we should not define a row in animal parent because row will be different for every animal we have. Now, what we're going to do in animal parent in construction script, we're going to read this row. So we're going to get an animal config, break it, get this data table, and get row, get data table row with this row name. Next, we're going to break s animal config. And here we will have a configuration for an animal. Also, this construction script will be called for all child. That's why we're writing it in animal parent. And we're going to set up legacy variables. So we're going to set animal subtype to here. We're going to set state mesh socket from here. Um, okay, we're going to set an interruption montage from a random array item from interruption montages like these. And we're going to set attack montages from attack montages. And let's clear it a little bit and connect it to fixed position like this. Now we can open a BP Fox shown here with variables and animal config is going to be for a fox, for example, fox. Save, compile. The same is going to be for a doe and stack. We should do, we should provide our, provide our doe and the stack with this variable. We're going to select doe here and we're going to select s tag here. And now we will have no need to work to ch to make some changes in these blueprints. We will need to change something only in this blueprint. And everything should work fine, so let's start. It should not break anything. And uh, let's wait until at least first deer will spawn. Okay, everything is working, it saw us and decided to run away. Now let's go back to the tame config. Let's open an AI and create a new folder called taming. So let's create a new structure and call it as tame config. Let's save everything, just to be sure that we'll not lose it. And first variable we should have here is boolean, is a flag, whether this animal is even tameable. For example, is tameable. And by default, it's going to be true. So by default, we will be able to tame an animal. Next, we should decide how we're going to tame an animal. I want to use the, size, the same system as uh, it used in Valheim. So, like when you're dropping something to eat to an animal, then animal sees it and eats it. Then some parameter like uh, how much animal likes you increases. So let's. Uh, so. I am gonna do it like this. We we should have a list of items that animal can eat. So uh, it's gonna be a list of actors because we're gonna drop it anyway. So uh, tame items, and it is gonna be an actor. And it is going to be a set of connectors. So let's decide that we will not be able to tame a doe, but we will be able to tame a fox. So let's go 
back to our as animal config and change a tame config type from an in montage to as tame config. Save and close it. Now let's open our data table and DAO and uh, and on DAO and stack let's select let's make them untamable. So let's uh, change their is tameable flag to false. So DAO is not tameable and stack is not tameable, but Fox is tameable. Next, we should provide it with some tame items. Okay, so let's. Why can I can't I select it? By the way, oh, this should not be an actor. I'm sorry. This should be. Let's go back to in, into taming. It should be a class reference, not an object reference. So now, after I've changed it, now we can select a class. So in my case, it can be. I don't know, maybe tomato. I don't know if Fox eats tomato, but at least I can uh, have a tomato in my inventory. Okay, now we, had, we have defined that Fox can be tamed and uh, it can be tamed with tomatoes. Now let's close it. Let's save it. And what should we do next? Next, we should be able to drop this item. In my current project, I don't have a uh, possibility to drop something from my inventory, by the way. So I'm gonna edit uh, by myself without a video because everyone has its own inventory system and it will. All these changes will not apply to you. And we will continue in the next video. Thanks for watching.